too far. The deadly shooting of 31-year-old Jordan Taylor happened at his Clifton Avenue home November 5th of 2019. And this was a mystery for a while, but we were able to, uh, to grab uh, video footage. Um, ultimately, we were able to identify them. Uh, I know we identified the vehicle used by the suspects to, to flee the scene. And at that point, um, you know, we collected more and more evidence. And, and, and thank goodness we were able to, again, identify all four suspects. Police released surveillance video several months after the murder, trying to find those involved. Thursday, investigators with help from ATF agents arrested Aaron Butler of Elkridge, Dante Holdclaw, and Elise Frazier. Dante. These look like some young guys in this thing, but these these some old, washed up some men in these hoodies, man. They, they look like teens, man, in the, in the hoodies, but you see the pictures, it's like, damn. Arrested Aaron Butler of Elkridge, Dante Holdclaw, and Elise Frazier, both of Baltimore. All three are being held without bond. They face first-degree murder and numerous other charges. Police are still looking for Khalil Madden. Police say this was a planned robbery, but the suspects targeted the wrong person. From what we know. <laughs> so this fucking white guy lost his life. And listen, this is why this is why 84-year-old men who are blind in one eye and live alone come to their doors with guns. Well, let's be real. This is That's why gliders targeted. should be afraid anytime a sun man shows up at your door after dark. I mean, you should never, ever open the door for a sun man, statistically speaking, based on what's no. going on in this country. I wouldn't open the door for me. And I'm, I'm just, listen, it's not worth, it's, the juice isn't worth the squeeze. You don't want to fucking get accustomed to that shit. And, and no, you don't open the door for anybody. You leave your screen door locked too. That's the thing. You have to lock your screen door so that, like, e even if you're dumb enough to open your door, the fucking screen door is locked. This was a planned robbery, but the suspects targeted the wrong person. From what we know, this case was basically a mistake. Um, it was a robbery. They conspired to rob someone, not Mr. Taylor. According to a court charging document, Taylor and his wife heard someone twisting the doorknob and trying to pry open their front door. <laughs> That's crazy as shit. They should have came and shot her. They should have shot the oh. fucking door. I'm about to say the same thing. I'm shooting off the top. Should have shot the fucking door. This is this was 2019, but they just okay. caught them. They just caught them. They, listen, shoot gliders. I don't give a fuck what Joe Biden says. You see a sun man <laughs> twisting your fucking knob, shoot through the fucking door. Because some people are, ev all sun people are. If a sun person, if, if, if that was a sun person, they would have shot through the fucking door. We'll do it. Real shit. You go to another sun man's house. His... Yeah, definitely. Aim, another... yeah. aim for his fucking head through the door. Like, wherever you pick his door, his head go <laughs> 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 yeah, man. Fuck that, man. Cause, um, yeah, you could tell by um, uh, Brianna, that case, they shot the cops, right? Yeah, yeah. That's just that's what we do. It's what we do, man. We, we, we got gliders fucking hesitating and shit. For charging document, <laughs> Taylor and his wife heard someone twisting the doorknob and trying to pry open their front door. The document says the victim ran to the door and placed his body against the front door in an attempt to keep the intruders out. The suspects began firing multiple gunshots through both. So they shot through the door. <laughs> Damn. So, so when he came to the door trying to put his body against the door to keep them out, their first reaction shoot. was to shoot through the door and shoot through the window. It's pretty sad because it sounds like it's just like this first panic reaction, you know? Yeah, I mean, that's what you're going to do. You're in there with your family. Pick the wrong thing, although he, he might have been just the same fate if he hadn't done that. Exactly. The crazy, thing, the crazy thing with the son is, after they did all that crazy shit, like shoot through the door, like what, what were they expecting after that? Like, mission's over. Like, son, we don't care. We, I don't really yeah. think they were thinking about it, you know? <laughs> yeah, they don't think that far ahead. Yeah. Oh, shit. They got in the car and they left. So they just killed somebody for nothing. That's all. They just came through like a storm. We're yeah, like a storm. <laughs> just came through and whoosh, 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 and 
left and whatever was left in the wake is just what was left in the wake. God, I mean, we don't give a fuck. You know that. Body against the front door in an attempt to keep the intruders out. The suspects began firing multiple gunshots through both the front door and the front window of the residence. Taylor was the sports director at the Y in Catonsville. The charging document indicates cell phone records and Facebook messages helped link the suspects to the crime. At some point, they got their, their, their crosses mixed, um, their signals mixed up, and, and, and they wound up at Mr. Taylor's house on Clifton Avenue. And as you know, they forced their way into his home. He tried to defend his home, his family, and they wound up killing him. Now, the court charging document also indicates Butler, also known as Emo, was on federal probation for a prior gun charge. <laughs> Shocking. What the fuck? I don't remember too many where that wasn't the case on this channel. And that this we're talking about thousands of stories where the fucking guy wasn't on fucking probation or parole or out on felony bond or ankle monitor or fucking house arrest, some shit. And, and is this a new thing where it's like reporting live like, from down? But everybody, everybody, is this the new thing where they're um, finding the dresses by accident? Like they going to the wrong address and doing some stupid shit. It seems like it's a new trend. He yeah, did nothing and, wrong but go to the wrong address to rob <laughs> and invade. Yeah, it's just like, uh, just like uh, Ralph Yaw, man. What's your wrong address? When he man? was confronted by a, a white man who wouldn't let him in, you know, just because he was a son, man. If that white man would have shot him, we would have had this story four years ago. We would have been dealing with this. They would have fucking made all those fucking sun men seem like they were fucking great people. Oh, my God. So far, there has been no arrest in the murder of Albert Stevenson and Baltimore.